These are the top viewed research articles from each of our journals published between September 1st, 2018 and August 31st, 2019. In this cohort study from JAMA Network Open, firefighters who could do 11 or more push-ups had lower incident cardiovascular disease risk up to a decade later compared with those who could do fewer, and the risk reduction was most pronounced among those able to do 40 or more push-ups. This pharmacoepidemiology study from JAMA Internal Medicine reported a dose-response association between drugs with anticholinergic effects, antihistamines, antidepressants, antipsychotics, and medications for GI and bladder disorders, and dementia. This special communication published in JAMA summarized key guidelines in the 2018 Physical Activity Guidelines for Americans, second edition, which emphasized the importance of replacing sedentary time with any amount and type of aerobic or muscle strengthening activity. In this birth cohort study from JAMA Pediatrics, Pregnant women with higher fluoride exposures went on to have children with lower IQ scores measured at ages three to four years. The link was only seen in boys. This special communication from JAMA Surgery summarized consensus recommendations for the perioperative management of patients undergoing cardiac surgery, part of the Enhanced Recovery After Surgery Care Initiative to reduce surgical complications and promote earlier return to normal activities. This pharmacoepidemiology study from JAMA Psychiatry reported lower rehospitalization for schizophrenia among patients prescribed combination versus single antipsychotic therapy, especially clozapine and aripiprazole. In this meta-analysis from JAMA Cardiology, vitamin D supplementation was not associated with a reduction in cardiovascular events, including myocardial infarction, stroke, and death. In this population-based cohort study published in JAMA Neurology, older adults with concussion, prescribed a statin within 90 days of their injury, had reduced risk of dementia. In this cohort study from JAMA Oncology, adding circulating tumor DNA testing to tissue sequencing detected more targetable cancer mutations and increased the number of patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer who received effective therapy. In this nutritional epidemiology study from JAMA Dermatology, health professionals with higher intake of total vitamin A, retinol, and carotenoids had a lower risk of developing cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma. In this interim analysis of a randomized trial from JAMA Ophthalmology, there was no apparent difference in visual acuity among patients with neovascular, wet, age-related macular degeneration treated with aflibercept versus ranibizumab. In this cohort study from JAMA Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery, there were no differences in hearing outcomes or satisfaction among patients with mild or moderate hearing loss using personal sound amplification products, basic hearing aids, or premium hearing aids. <laughs>